so in my last video we restored that iphone 6 that was completely destroyed and a lot of you guys were asking what happened to james so i did call him and it wasn't a him actually it was a her basically this girl picked up and she told me that it's not james's number anymore and she gets calls daily and i asked her if she had another number and she said no i'm gonna try and get in contact with the diver and see if we can reach him some other way but we got that phone done it's time to pick out another phone so this is an iphone 10r and this was also recovered from the lake i'll roll the footage right now <laughs> So this phone does smell really bad as well, but it is an iPhone XR. I have a high hope in this phone because it is water resistant and it couldn't have been underwater for more than a few years. I'd say, judging by the looks of it, it was underwater for probably a few months, maybe four or five months. The seal is intact. It is still hard to open up, which is a good sign. And we're going to open it up and there's actually still water in here. It is really rusted. You can see over here, we have traces of rust. What I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm just gonna heat it up. It smells really bad, in case you guys are wondering. And obviously that did not get rid of all the water. There's water under the board and water all around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the device and we're just gonna put it on the heat pad and we're gonna let it sit there for probably around 20 minutes. While it's on the heat pad, I'd like to say thank you to Aquatic Monkey for sending me these phones. Not gonna lie, it is typically the iPhones that work after that length of time underwater. So I'm gonna take the iPhone XR and before I even unscrew anything, I want to apply some isopropyl alcohol and try and clean everything out just in case I can remove any dirt or debris that might affect me or might affect the components. And now I'm gonna take the anti-static brush and I just wanna go over the rusted bits just to see if I can clean any of that dirt. back on the heat pad and let all the ISO evaporate. So we got the phone all heated up. All the isopropyl alcohol is evaporated. It is still pretty dirty, but we got to take off the board and we're just going to unscrew, disconnect our battery. That's really not a good sign. The rust here tells me that this thing is probably not going to turn on unless we can remove it. This is also a bad sign. There's rust on the actual screen connectors. So we can remove our screen now and we're going to remove the logic board and try and give it a good clean. Disconnect everything. I'm trying to be careful because everything is really fragile. Now we're going to attempt to remove the logic board. Hopefully it comes off without a problem. Given how rusty this is, the chances of this turning on are really, really slim. Now we can remove our logic board. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little container and we're gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and we're just gonna pour it out and bathe this logic board in alcohol until it gets very drunk and wants to work again. While it's in the alcohol, we're just gonna gently take our brush and I'm gonna try and see if I can remove some of this rust. So I have been cleaning this board for about an hour now and I'm quickly looking at it under the microscope. I definitely think there will be parts of this board that don't work, but I'm hoping we can get power to it and get it on. It could definitely use a bit more cleaning, but I've been cleaning it for an hour now and I'm kind of tired of this. So I think it's time to test this out and see if we can get it on. So we're gonna be using this as a donor board. This is an iPhone XR housing shaped to be a 12. I did a few of these videos. If you guys wanna check them out, they're pretty cool. It does take a long time though, but we have to get this logic board off and put in the one 
that was recovered from that diver. So we're gonna place the logic board in. This is the moment of truth because I have been working on this for such a long time and if it doesn't work, it's gonna be very disappointing. But then again, we're lucky if it works because this was probably underwater for a long time. So we're gonna get the logic board in and we're just gonna connect every single component. I'm really nervous now because I've been working on this for way too long. Connect their battery. My heart's beating like crazy. Let's take this off. Let's go for it. Oh my God. Okay, that's that's a start guys. We have a charging symbol. I, re I didn't think that was gonna work and I know I said that in the last video, but I spent hours cleaning this board. I'm so grateful. Okay, it's charging. The phone is, oh. We have the Apple logo. I can't believe it. We're gonna take out the SIM card. That's crazy. So we're gonna see who owns this phone and try and give them a call and hopefully they don't freak out. Okay guys, so I did leave her a message and I can confirm it was the same girl because uh, the medical ID shows me their name and other data. So um, I'm gonna wait for them to, to call me back and get back to me and tell me what they want me to do with the phone basically. And yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens from there. So not too long after, she ended up answering and this is what she said. I actually, that was like last summer I lost it. I'm surprised it's, uh, you got it turned on. Yeah, uh, no, I think I'd cancel anything off that phone when I got my new one. Okay. So I talked to her on the phone and she said she didn't want it. I'm not really sure why. I think she thought I was scamming her or something. I could tell she was a little freaked out. I probably would be too if someone called me. We don't really have a use for this anymore uh, other than to recycle it. So we're just gonna put it back in its housing and add it to our graveyard of phones. So we're just gonna take this. And we're gonna add it to our phone graveyard. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really disappointed that she didn't want her phone back. I was gonna fix it and give it back to her for free, but I guess she was just too freaked out. Uh, let me know if you want me to continue this series because I hope that one of the future owners will want their phone back fixed. I feel like that's something that you'd want to happen. But that is all for today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.